Jacqueline and welcome to Timeless Beauties. Have you ever seen the younger YouTubers uh, demonstrating the soap brow? Uh, I've seen it a couple times and I thought it would be a really interesting technique to try, especially on the mature brow. I did it a few times and I actually really liked it. So uh, because I liked it, I thought I would share it with you. I do have um, some gray coming in my brows that get a little wiry and a little sparseness too. So I know with a lot of us over 50, there's different variations. We do tend to lose a lot of the brow, certain areas are missing, and, um, and also the uh, color of our brows change too. So I thought I would go through this tip with you. Uh, it was fun, and uh, I hope you enjoy it. If you love this video or like this video, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. I'd, be, I'd love to have you join me. And so here we go. So the first thing is, I just want to explain what I am using. So first of all, I have bought the, um, this is Paris soap. So it's a clear soap. You can get this, I got it at Shoppers Drug Mart. I'm sure you could get it at any drugstore, Rexall, or um, any, you know, corner drugstore should have it. And I also, I just have it in a little dish, like this is my hair coloring dish. So I just put it in there. And also, all you need is some water, a little bit of water to get it wet, and a spoolie for the brows. So I'm going to start doing that, and um, so I, I'll show you. I just put a little bit of water in the top of the soap. You don't want to have too much. You just want to get it wet. And then I'm just scraping. I'm going to take it out and hold it because it would be easier for you to see. So right there, so the top of it's wet and I'm just scraping the spoolie uh, on the soap like this. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take you up a little bit closer so you can see better. And I'm also going to clip my bangs out of the way because we're going to do both brows. So as you can see, it's not soaking wet. It's just a little bit foamy and I've got my spoolie all covered. And I'm just going to go through my brow hair. Let me see, I'm just gonna look in this mirror this way. I'm gonna go through the brow hair and, and brush it straight up. And actually, this is a good opportunity if you have any of the stray hairs as you're brushing straight up you can clip them with your uh, eyebrow scissors. So I'm going to go straight up and I have a few strays that I'm just going to clip like so. I don't have a lot because I have done done it already. And then I'll do the other one. Again straight up. I don't know if you can see I have a few of those grays in there. <laughs> I do tint my brows and um, I usually do it around the same time as I color my hair. So uh, I tint my brows once once a month. And But you know, the grays are pretty uh, stubborn and I still see quite a few grays even after a week or so. So again, I'm just going to brush it up. I have the soap on the spoolie. And I'm gonna take my finger, oh, it's getting a little bit too wet. You don't want it too wet. So I'm just gonna dry that off. And if I see any strays on this side, I'm going to trim. I don't have too many because I've, I've already done it. But another good thing is when you're doing this, um, you can see the brows are going straight up and you're following the brow um, arch. And then I do is I take my finger and I just press on it like this and go again on this one and just press and it will dry um, when I'm doing my hair. I could blow dry my hair and then sometimes I'll just blow my eyebrows dry a little bit so they dry faster. And um, so I don't know if you can see, but the brows, the hair is all going in the upward motion. So, and then I'm gonna show you how I fill my brows in. So it seems like it's pretty tacky to the touch and you just press your finger on it and it will hold the brows in place. So if you do have wiry uh, brow hair, this is a really good, a really good uh, technique to use. And I found that it lasts all day long. It, your brows won't move. So that was really, really awesome. And it's cheaper than uh, 
cheaper than the brow gel and um, like I said it lasts really all day long unless you're gonna get soaked in the rain I'm sure it would all come out but anyway I haven't got soaked yet so anyway so that's the first step and I, I just let it dry I press the brow hairs into place and then what you can do depending on your brow um, Actually, you know what? I think what we'll do first is I'm going to show you. I do highlight under the brow. I'm going to let it dry just a little bit more. So I'm going to take this concealer palette from uh, MAC. And they have a, high, um, a really light color up here that I like to use under my brow. So I'm just going to take some of that and just go underneath the very upper part of my brow here. I don't know if you can see that. So I'm just going to run that along. I just do actually right where the arch of the brow is. I don't do the whole brow like you see sometimes um, with the younger ones, they'll do the whole area of the brow. I just like to do right under the arch and then I'll do the other one before I, um, before I blend it in. So I'm just right underneath the arch here. And then what I'll do is I'll take my finger and just pat that in there and you can see how natural that looks so it's not a shadow it's a cream so it looks very natural and it just highlights underneath the arch I'm gonna do this one this has a little bit more on it so I'm just gonna pat that in I don't know if you can see so as you can see it's just highlighted right underneath the arch okay so my brows are dry now and they feel feel pretty dry so I'm going to attempt to fill them in because they have um, pretty sparse in some areas I have over plucked a little bit through here over the years um, so I like to fill in just a little bit more um, I'm going to take my um, Anastasia Brow Wiz right here and just going to do an outline first of all now with the brow wizards, I find that they break, the ends break off all the time on me, and I don't know why, but this is a new one. And uh, this is in the color granite. So it's kind of a gray black, which I try to use in my brows because of my hair color. I don't like anything too brown or too black, so this works really well. So I'm just gonna outline a little bit in here where I want a little bit more brow hair look to fill in. So I usually start right in the arch of my brow and I'm just filling in and, and because it's dried on there so it's not going to, like sometimes I find when the brow gel is a little bit moist, it's hard to put brow color in the, in the brow hair. But I find that this works really well. So I'm just going to add a little bit more hair like strokes just on the outside of the brow and then bring it up to into this part of my brow. I like to start out here and then very lightly up in here. And I'm gonna, I, that was very, very light, so I'm not gonna add too much. And on this one, I'm gonna do the same because I wanna add it just into the arch here to thicken that up a little bit and bring it in. And also, I'm going to do a little bit on top because this eyebrow is a little bit uneven compared to this one. So I'm just going to bring it up just a little bit on the top part here. And then just fill in just underneath here. I don't want my brows to look like what they call tadpoles. So, <laughs> so anyway, I'm just filling this in just to even this out a little bit more and give it a little bit more thickness. Oh, I'm just gonna go back here and give it a little bit more here. And then I'm gonna come into this part of my brow. And as you can see, I'm just using very, very soft strokes and I have done the top part of this brow a little bit to make it even with this brow. And then what I'm gonna do is take my spoolie and I'm gonna go through and just, just a little bit because of the soap in there, it feels a little bit um, tacky, but that's okay because uh, that way your products are gonna stick to the brow like the powder and the uh, brow is. And I don't think it's gonna go anywhere. So I've just spooled that through and then I want to fill it in just a little bit more. So I'm going to use some powder to fill it in. And I like to use the, uh, I have the MAC powders like you see here. I have four in each. 
and uh, I try to get the colors uh, that I'm going to use on my clients too, the different brow colors that would uh, really match up. So because of my coloring, I don't like, I said, to use too much brown uh, or anything with the red tones in it. I like to use the taupey gray type colors. So I'm going to use this one here and I will put the colors that I'm using down below for brows. So uh, if you're interested, you can, uh, you'll know which colors to get at MAC. So I'm going to start with a very, very fine, um, I've got a little sharp uh, brow uh, brush here. Uh, I actually got this at the art store because I thought it's very, very fine and it's, I thought it would work really well stiff for my brows. So I'm going to give this a try. So in this palette here, I'm going to dip it into the, um, it's a kind of a gray. Actually, you know, I'm going to use two of these here. So this one here is a uh, taupey color here, and then this is a gray, So because I don't want to have a color that's too dark. I don't want to go dark like my hair color, and I don't want to go too light. So I like to uh, try to match the color up just uh, a little bit lighter than the hair color, but in the same tone. So I'm going to dip my brush into those two colors that I had mentioned to you, and tap that off a little bit. And I'm going to look in the mirror over here again, and I'll show you. So what I'm going to do is, again, start just at the arch part and just feather it into the brows, just to fill it in. And then I'm going to go into the tail, too. I'm going to get a little bit more and into the tail. And then I'm going to start working my way back towards this part of the eye. And I'm going to fill it in here like this because I do have a lot of spaces in between the hair. And so that's why I'm gonna go fill it in with the powder like this. And you'll find that the powder will stay stick right to it. It's amazing. And you can see I'm just using very, very fine feathery strokes. And it's a very, very fine brush. So I've got that powder in there and I'm just gonna go through again with the spoolie. I wanna make them look as natural as possible. I came down a little bit too far on the arch here. It's just kind of on the skin. So I'm going to take my Q-tip and just clean that off. And I don't know if you can see it's filled in a little bit more than the other eyebrow, just to give it a, a little bit more intensity. As we age, we want to make sure that the eyebrows uh, frame the face, because if we don't have any eyebrows, you really lose color in the face and uh, takes away from our mature beauty. Anyway. So let's go into the other brow, and I'm going to start right at the arch again, and I'm going to just take very fine strokes and work my way to the tail using those two colors again. If you're fairer than me, you know, the taupey colors are great, and these matte colors are really great to work with. And I'm just going to start going forward. I have a little bit of gray in this brow here. So I'm just going to go over the, actually it's not great, they're white hairs like this. <laughs> this is my really, this is my white hair. I think if I let it all grow out, my whole front would be white like this. So I'm not ready to do that yet. So I'm just sticking to the contrast for now. When I get a little bit older, then I'll probably graduate it out and keep, keep growing that white out. I think at the back of my hair, it's all salt and pepper. But so that's why I got these white hairs in my eyebrows. And I'm sure there's many of you out there that are dealing with the same thing I am with the white hairs in the brows. So here we go. I'm just moving my brush a little bit forward to this part of my eyebrow and filling it in there. So you can see there's no uh, spaces in the brow anymore. And I've only used a little bit of product uh, as far as the shadow goes. So I think I have enough there. I've worked to the, to the tail. And uh, as you can see, my eyebrows are pretty even. And uh, they're full now. And they feel like really flat to the face. So they're not going to go anywhere today. So I was just so excited when I found this technique. I think I saw it with one of the Pixie Woo uh, sisters. Uh, on YouTube. So uh, I just wanted to bring it to you as a mature person and let you know it is a great, uh, a great technique to use. 
So there you go. So that wasn't too long of a video. I hope you like it. I'm going to be doing a lot more videos like with tips like these on style and makeup. So please subscribe to my channel and uh, hit the subscribe button below and the bell to let you know that my video is up. And I'm looking forward to spending more time with you and chatting with you. Let me know what you think if you have any problems with your brows and uh, I can help address some more, some more doing different techniques. Anyway, thanks very much and we'll see you again. Bye. Thank <laughs> you.